Please talk us through what's happened here today. So, uh, tragically, this morning we've uh, had two young males uh, who are now deceased as a result of a shooting. Um, what we do know, approximately 2.30 this morning, three vehicles entered uh, Carmichael Drive in Wyndham Vale. Um, thereafter, um, there was a confrontation and um, the two, two males have been uh, shot, uh, shot dead. Um, we really appealing for anyone in this vicinity around the 2.30, 2.40 uh, a.m. this morning who may have been driving, who saw the vehicles in convoy, vehicles acting suspicious, if they have any dash cam, we'd uh, appreciate that to go to Crime Stoppers, 1800 333 000. Uh, at this stage, uh, it's early stages of the investigation, uh, what we do know is the parties may have known each other. Um, we, uh, uh, again, in the very early stages of the investigation, uh, and um, the Crime Command, in particular Homicide Squad, who were taking the lead, will commit uh, all the resources necessary to identify the offenders and bring them to justice. Can you tell us about the victims, Chris? Uh, at, at this stage, I can't. Uh, I can't shed any light on the victims. Uh, safe to say they were two young men, uh, certainly um, uh, at home, uh, minding their own business uh, when this uh, tragic event occurred. Were they both residents of this address? Uh, all, uh, all I can say is they were inside the address. Uh, the exact details of the status of them, I'm, I can't say. And when you say young, do you mean teen or twenties? Uh, we'll just say young adults. Seems to be a bit of focus on the garage. Is that where it all happened? Yeah, certainly the confrontation occurred in that vicinity, that's correct. We understand there's someone in hospital at the moment. Yes, there's another individual uh, is in hospital at the moment uh, with non-life-threatening injuries. Is that also with a gunshot wound or there was something about stabbing in the room? Uh, too early to say. Uh, we do have members deployed to the hospital and again, that will more light will be shed on that you know, in the hours and the days ahead. Was that third person at this residence? Yes, he was. Was he known to the two others? Who were Again, you know, that would be unpacked as the, as the investigation unfolds. So, but he was at the house? Yes, he was. Right. Do we know, were the, there were three cars driven, were there just three other people? Was there, was there a large group? We would, uh, the information we had, there would be uh, a, a large -ish group. The exact numbers uh, would be speculative, uh, but we're certainly looking for three vehicles with a number of individuals uh, on board. Any description of those vehicles we can help with? We don't have descriptions of the vehicle, we just know that there were three vehicles in the vicinity. Is there a possible gang links? We've got nothing to suggest there is, but we will keep an open mind. I mean, it would be uh, remiss of us to have form a view at this very early stage. We will be looking at all avenues um, and, um, and you know, track down any information the public can give us. The two deceased men, uh, have they had any contact with police in the past? We, I, I'm certainly not in a position to say that, nor would it be relevant at this point. We are, we're told there was a woman at the home at the time. Do you know how she's doing here to speak to her? I, I mean, I, I haven't spoken to her personally, but I can imagine, you know, you've got two people who have been murdered in your premises would be nothing short of horrific. I mean, saying that two young men dead in Melbourne, how tragic is this? Absolutely tragic. I mean, and this is where we need the community buy-in. We need their support. We can't solve these in, uh, these investigations without their assistance. If if you know something, say something. We have Crime Stoppers here, which is an, an anonymous forum. Utilise it so we can bring these people to justice. Are they related to the victims? Uh, I'm not able to say that. We obviously have at least three people here at, at large and there's been a double murder here. How concerned are you for members of the public or do you think this is a closed off? Well, what, what I would say is uh, I don't think this is random. Uh, and I'd say the, the community can be reassured the fact that we, you, they'll see uh, a large police presence today uh, in, the, in the next coming days. We don't think uh, this was some, uh, an incident which is going to affect the broader community in terms of innocent people.